So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the relation between um, power spectral density and autocorrelation, and it is also written as PSD. And autocorrelation is also written as RxX of tau because we are having two x and we are taking the correlation. So it is called autocorrelation. So I'm making this video on a comment on my channel. Uh, the comment was on my previous video. The video was on the relation between ESD and uh, autocorrelation. So don't forget to watch that video also. So let's start. So first we will write the statement which we are going to prove that PSD and autocorrelation exist a uh, Fourier transformable pair. So the power spectral density autocorrelation function form a 2 this Fourier transformable pair so it can be written as s x x of omega is Fourier transformable to r x x of tau and this is inverse if we get if we do inverse Fourier transform then we will get this so let's prove it as we know that this is written as limit t tends to infinity then by 2t so as we have also seen this splitting of this term in our previous video so we can write it as x star of omega is equal to integration from minus t to t x of t1 e to the power because we are having star here we will not write minus we will just write the and then according to t1 and uh, x t of tau is written as integration minus t to t x of t2 e to the power of j omega t2 and with respect to t2 fine so we will replace these two terms in with these two and it can be written as let's put this in bracket so it can be written as limit t tends to infinity let's put this one by t outside first we will write this star one x of t1 e to the power of j omega t1 dt and then this now we will take some things common and it can be written as expectation of double integration uh, x of t1 x of t2 and then these both will get multiplied then we'll get j omega t1 minus t2 then dt1 and dt2 okay so we got double integrations x1 x2 exponential dt1 and dt2 so now what we are going to do is we will uh, substitute this ex expectation with these two variables and it will be written as we will take this integration outside and we will apply the expectation to the two variables now as you know that this is expectation of these two variables I mean one variable only but with respect to two different times so this is also mean we can say mean or it is also autocorrelation so we will replace this term with autocorrelation uh, sorry this omega with respect to t1 and t2 na? so with respect to t1 t and t2 we took the autocorrelation so now we can write that as this is psd equal to limit t tends to infinity and we took this outside then we got the double integrations and as we took the expectation of x of t1 and x of t2 we will write the autocorrelation with respect to t1 and t2 and the exponential term i'm taking the negative outside so we will get t2 minus t1 then dt1 and dt2 so now if we take the inverse fourier transform of this psd what we will get if we take inverse fourier transform of this we will write 1 by 2 pi and integration minus infinity to infinity and e to the power of j omega tau d omega so now if i substitute i mean i took this inverse laplace transform right if i equate this with this so inverse laplace transform will be applied to this term also so now we are going to take the inverse fourier transform of this whole term right basically i'll substitute this value in this place okay so i will write inverse fourier transform of psd is equals to 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity and then this term that is this overall term limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t integration minus t to t 
and autocorrelation then exponential term dt1 and dt2 also this exponential term is also included right so this is j omega tau So now what we will do is we will separate the exponential terms and the autocorrelation term and uh, we will write it as let's take this 1 by 2 pi and also this limit outside and this 1 by 2t outside. So we will write the exponential term with integration minus infinity to infinity and then we will write j omega t2 minus t1 and if I take minus of minus tau then I can write it minus tau then it will become plus and then d omega and now if I separate the autocorrelation term then this is the two autocorrelation term and dt1 and dt2 fine now what we want is we want to reduce this exponential term and uh, to reduce it uh, let's think of Fourier transform of delta t now you will think why am I taking this Fourier transform of delta t so you will get it after some time let's just think of it if I take inverse Fourier transform of 1 then I will get delta t simple so this can be written as 1 because I am taking inverse Fourier transform of 1 fine understood now if I replace this t with uh, t2 minus t2 plus t1 plus tau then I will get t with tau plus t1 minus t2 I wrote the same thing I took it on the last so we got this isn't the same term which is here if I take this 1 by 2 pi to the this side, isn't the same thing. So I can replace it with delta t plus t1 minus t2, right? So let's do that. I took this and this whole term and I replace it with t1 plus tau. Fine. Don't forget the limit and uh, this term. Now I, now I will write the autocorrelation term. Now, we want to simplify it more it can be written as equal to 1 when this whole term that is minus t2 plus t1 and tau is equals to 0 so we'll write that this t1 minus t2 is equals to 1 at tau plus t1 minus t2 equal to 0 that means t2 is equals to tau plus t1 and you know that the tau is the difference between two times that means t2 minus t1 and t2 and t2 will get cancelled so we'll get 0 equal to 0 so this tau is equals to t2 minus t1 but we don't bother about that just leave it aside we want is delta t1 minus t2 plus tau is equals to 1 don't get confused i'm just exchanging the terms here and there fine now we will write finally that inverse fourier transform of power spectral density is equals to 1 into this whole term limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t So this is what we got in the previous page, right? And you have also observed that tau is equals to difference between t2 and t1. So we wrote t2 is equals to tau plus t1. And now we will replace this t2 which is here with t1 plus tau. So we will write it as and t1 plus tau then this t1 and this t1 we will ignore the second t1 and we will write it just as it is and we can also ignore the t1 right we are just having only one time instance so we will write it as that's it and here we are having inverse Fourier transform of power spectral density so if I take this inverse on this side we will get the autocorrelation right do you observe it so if I will remove the inverse Fourier transform I will get rxx of t comma t plus tau and we can also write it as rxx of tau so here you can see that it is having a Fourier transformable pair so if I will take Fourier transform then we will get this and if I take again the inverse Fourier transform I will get this term so this is the statement which we wrote in the starting hence we have proved that this power spectral density and autocorrelation form a Fourier transformable pair. So you might think that why did I wrote Rx of t plus comma t plus tau is equals to Rxx of tau? Because this you can say the theorem or the rule comes from the white sense stationary, and uh, because of 
this is independent of time we write it like this if you want a video on that i will post a video on the right sense stationery okay so that's it for this video if you understood everything then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you want any other video then comment below and uh, i will try to make a video on that thanks for watching